Julie is a 30-year veteran of the biopharmaceutical industry where she held leadership positions for industry giants including Endo Health Solutions and Johnson & Johnson. Julie's work to lead the development, marketing, sales, and life cycle management of new drugs has transformed the lives of millions who suffer from chronic conditions. In addition, she significantly improved access to HIV AIDS care and treatment in developing countries. One nominator said, Julie's success is rooted in her values, character, depth of insight, and unique ability to communicate thoughts and ideas in a clear, concise, and compelling manner. Another said, she was a battlefield general type of boss who never asked more of her team than she asked of herself. Over many years, I read scores of 360 feedback forms that called Julie the best boss I ever had. Julie earned her undergraduate degrees from SMEAL and has remained active in the college and parent philanthropy council. It is a pleasure to present her with the Alumni Fellow Award. Well, like many of the other speakers before me, I um, would be remiss to say that uh, gratitude has not has been a thought on my on my mind for the past several weeks since I found out about my nomination. Um, this past weekend, I had the opportunity to attend the uh, the whiteout game, and you know the the game didn't turn out exactly the way we had hoped for sure, but the experience was so em emblematic of what it means to be a Penn Stater. I mean the the atmosphere at the game was just absolutely amazing. You know, we celebrated our, our entire community. We recognized alumni. We recognized donors. We obviously celebrated an incredible game. And uh, it was just an incredible sense of community. But with all, without any doubt, my favorite part of any Penn State home football game is the singing of the alma mater. And, and in particular, I really love the third and the fourth verse of the alma mater. When we stood at childhood's gate, shapeless in the hands of fate, thou didst mold us, dear old state, dear old state. As you know, this, song, this, this verse is sung very softly with tremendous reverence, and it's really about an acknowledgement that the time that we spent at Penn State was truly transformative. And if you think about it, at a juncture in life where any number of random life forces could shape us, we were fortunate to be shaped by this incredibly special institution. And then we sing the fourth verse, and this one we sing loudly. And we sing it as a, as a, a pledge of love to an institution that's so special to us. We pledge that our lives but swell the fame, or swell the name, and the fame, and the reverence that we have for our university. So I just wanted to let you know that what, when I was sitting listening to the alma mater, singing the alma mater, I was truly reflecting on what a special transformative experience it was to be part of this university. There's a few people I'd like to thank in particular. First of all, I'd like to thank the Alumni Association for this award. I'm deeply honored. This is one of the, the greatest honors of my life. Um, I'd like to think, thank Dean Whiteman for recommending my nomination. It's been a privilege and an honor to serve on your board. Um, you're an incredibly high caliber person, and it is um, a real honor and privilege to be uh, the chairman of your, your board. I'd like to thank Jen Crispel and uh, Michelle Hauser, who arranged all of my activities on campus this week. Um, I can't thank you enough. It is just always energizing and special to spend time with faculty and students. It always, always recharges my batteries. I'd like to thank Tony Vernon, who actually wrote my nomination letter. Tony is a lifelong mentor and friend who took a stand for me at a turning point in my career. And among many other lessons that Tony taught me, he taught me how important it is to stand for the people you believe in. I'd like to thank my parents, Jack and Jane Harris, who inspired me and my four siblings, Jennifer, John, Jill, and Joelle, to work hard, to get an education, 
to support each other, and to give back. I'm ex ex supremely grateful to all of them for a very happy um, childhood filled with many wonderful memories. I'd like to thank my husband, Mike, who has encouraged and supported me for 30 years. It's not always easy to make a dual career family work, but Mike has always been there, willing to make the sacrifices and willing to make the compromises to make our family work, and for that I'm forever grateful. And to my daughter, Emily, a 2018 Penn State grad, uh, who for the past 22 years has been my greatest source of inspiration. Um, she's currently attending graduate school at Drexel and couldn't be here because she's already started a very rigorous academic program, but uh, I want her to know that I, I love and, and, and um, she has been a very important force in my life as well. And finally, once again, um, I'm deeply grateful to the, the, the university, dear old state, dear old state. Thank you.